and I believe in you. You got this, keep going, don't give up. And Happy Monday! I'm so, so excited. I woke up in such a good mood. Thank you, Jesus. And what else? Today I have a demonstration. I'm so excited. We'll be making this baby. Anywho, guys, have the most amazing day. You know, I'll be back. Oh, let me make some coffee. Second demo, seventh demonstration. On my way to school, after school I'm gonna All right, so we learned about ice cream today. And naturally. Practicing French. Salut Marie. Salut Thomas. Salut Thomas. Salut Thomas. Salut Thomas. Oui, ça fait longtemps. Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? How are you? Ça va très bien et toi? Ça va très bien et tout? Et toi? Ça va. This is it. This morning, shower of espresso. My energy in total greens. Good morning, y'all. Guys, okay, so... Good morning. Hope you have an amazing day. Happy Tuesday. Listen, I have a practical today later at 5. It is 12 now. I'm going to meet my friend now. And I'm going to meet her dog, which I'm so excited. And her dog's name is Maggie. So I'm going to take a shot. I have my total greens and energy. I'm just going to kill it because I have to go now. Mm. I did not mix the honey. We out here. literally running to school because I calculated it wrong <gasps> I have to be there earlier than I thought we got this this is the struggle no box rain Pastry, no umbrella. 25 minute walk, 9 p.m. curfew, you know? Yeah. That's what it is. The raspberries all might be gone by the time I get to my house. Just saying. What is the seventh, seventh practical? Seventh practical. Seventh practical. Seventh practical. This is 
Puffly Shortbread. His puff, inverted puff pastry raspberry mascarpone and a raspberry filling. The practical wasn't too bad. I was comfortable this time around. Thank God. And I think that the the secret, right, in working good is making sure that you're organized, you're staying like you're cleaning your station, you know what step is next, you know what step you're doing, you're in communication with your partner, you know what both of you guys are doing, and just clean as you go. And this time around we did good, we were on time. One of the first few people who to turn in our, our pastry, the chef for mine, um, my, Puff pastry was a little too big. He told me that I had to cut it smaller. My piping. Let me show you this piping. My piping was a little out of the pastry. I should have kept it in and smaller. That's my biggest struggle. I like to, I do things fast. My hands are hot and I squeeze too much. I need it to do it when I'm piping slower and just like i'm not in public anymore like i have to do it slow 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 so that's my only thing this is the finished product obviously it tastes delicious it's so good um definitely i will make again at home for sure i love anything with puff pastry because i love crispy stuff so this was a, a new nice technique that we did the inverted puff pastry was different than the other one that we've done. But yeah, it's going to be a good night. I have to give this to one of my friends because you know I'll eat it all. But I need to stop. Hello. Happy Tuesday, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yeah. Practical. No, I don't. I have a demonstration today I am running a little late today I woke up late I started my morning late total greens and energy for the morning coffee as well because you can never have enough so this is how a practical room will look it fits like 15 16 students it's set up for us for our practical and then next this day i actually had a demonstration right after practical with chef bichon and he was showing us chocolate technique and he speaks in french and then there's a translator on the side translating what he says in english and literally it's so fun so amazing such an honor to learn from these chefs honestly quite honestly so beautiful Hello, happy Friday. It's actually Friday 12 in the morning, so it's really Saturday, right? I am off of school this weekend, and I am still awake. I've been doing trainings for my work, which are amazing and just so incredible. And my hair is in braids because I washed it, and I put some cream on it. And when I wake up, it's going to be all beautiful. I'm going to show you guys. I am watching this baby. Hi, Maggie. Her name is Maggie. Isn't she the cutest? How funny is her name is Maggie like my name? Savannah, your dog is so cute. Anyways. <laughs> so I'm dog sitting this cute little baby girl. She's not a baby, but you know, she's a cutie. But I just wanted to catch you guys up on this week. It's been a few days since I've recorded. We can't go outside. We have a curfew, 9 p.m. curfew. But what do you want, mama? Okay. So, um, for the last two demonstrations, it was all things chocolate, right? And for the two practicals, it was all things chocolate. So today, we actually finished the chocolate practical. 
in the first practical we this <laughs> in the first practical we coated um the molds with chocolate we put caramel in it we made the caramel we put raspberry ganache we put it in there we made ganache we did all that and then for the thing with chocolate is like you're not really supposed to put it in the fridge so um it's good to let it air dry oh like my hair air dry cream no it's not the same thing maggie anyway <laughs> Um, obviously wrapping wrapping the cart up with plastic so that it's in there and nothing falls on it right so ideally six to eight hours max 12 hours I think 12 to 14 you want to let it settle so we did that the next day we had our next practical which was today and we finished the chocolates we had to temper the chocolate we poured the chocolate on the mold we did all this whole scraping thing like literally today's practical i'm not gonna lie it was nice i enjoyed this practical because basically the whole practical was tempering the chocolate and yes it's stressful and it's overwhelming but when you have when you know what to do with the chocolate, you have all your notes in front of you and you're prepared, it's a little bit less stressful. Obviously, you have that pressure with the chef like, ole, 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 you gotta hurry up, right? Because we have a certain time where we have to present our chocolates. I was literally tempering the chocolate, tempering the chocolate because the thing with chocolate is that you have to get it to a certain temp. Well, you melt it and it gets to a certain temperature and then you cool it down. You get that to a certain temperature, cooling it down. Then you bring it back up to a certain temperature and it's tempered chocolate where it shines, it doesn't melt in your hands, and it dries fast. So when you get it to that point, literally, you have to do every step, make sure it gets to that temperature or else your chocolate will not be tempered. And then you won't have a nice finished product. So these are my chocolates and this is how it came out. Honestly, my favorite ones are the ones that I took so many pictures of with the red and the gold. I really liked how those came out. They were shiny and beautiful and nice. The other ones, they're not my favorite, but the chef was like, you know, that it was okay. And, but he really liked the red and gold ones. He's like, you see that shine? That's good. And I'm like, yes. yes chef but seriously um i enjoy it i enjoyed tempering chocolate i'm not a master temper chocolater but we're getting there you know and it was fun i enjoyed today a lot um then i went to go eat well i went to go yeah i went to go eat with my friend because the the weather here right now it's so nice literally i'm trying to have a picnic tomorrow with people but if nobody wants to have a picnic with me tomorrow then i'm about to just go and have a picnic with me and little maggie right we're just gonna do it because the weather is so so nice guys honestly um it's been an incredible week i'm still trying to figure out how to balance everything on and we haven't taken it out but we are walking this dog it is 12 we had a late night and a late start today but we're doing it so happy saturday <laughs>
my most favorite thing about walking here in Paris is all the bakeries everywhere. So, so nice. What I love most about Paris is that when you're walking around and you get lost in the city, you will definitely stumble upon so many gems and so many bakeries that are fresh and literally they're baking it right there in the spot, filling it right there in the spot. I stumbled upon this. That's Chupettes de Chuchao. Chucho. I have no idea. But I got a lemon flavor and I got a regular flavor. I'm gonna try it here. This is the lemon. Check this out. Check this out. That was delicious. Watched a wedding for the first time on Zoom. My whole heart. Bonsoir. Happy Sunday. It's raining here in Paris. And had a late start to my day last night was pretty rough for me but we're out here we're about to meet in bar to have a little friends little date so excited i'm gonna walk the dog real quick let's see I've been working on my tart creation because it is due base tomorrow morning but basically tonight so I've been working on that so um, I needed to take a minute and step aside Whew, Lord. Listen, I can follow a recipe I can follow the chef's guidance I can follow steps when it comes to creating something on my own that's something that I do have trouble in but I'm excited to see how this all turns out and I needed to just step aside and just like and then go back to it because I want it to be perfect but it's not gonna be perfect you know it's a rough draft I don't know why I'm whispering but yes this is a rough draft have the best week to come thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and i love you guys i'll see you next week this is the second week as an intermediate pastry student at le cordon bleu paris living out my dream maggie sweet tooth listen your dreams are possible and it's up to you it's up to you guys right um either you will be living your life working for someone working for someone else someone else's dream or you can live your life working towards your dream the choice is yours somebody else's dream or your dream guys anything is possible if you just believe keep it moving we learn from every choice we learn from every lesson we learn from everything guys if you have if you're living a life that you don't want it's up to you to change it it is up to you like it literally is up to you you know the voices in your head are fear fear you know fear that oh my goodness what if this is the wrong choice you won't know if you if you won't take that step forward you know it's up to you so take that step forward take that leap of faith and go for it and guess what if you fail get up and keep moving you know figure out your dreams and passions and it's all up to you i'm 29 right now at 20 years old i didn't know what i wanted but there's some 20 year olds that know what they want i we're all in a season we're all going through different chapters in our lives different seasons different scenarios right but the choice is yours <laughs> the choice is yours and i believe in you you got this keep going don't give up and i love you thank you guys for watching i'll see you next week 
this is maggie over and out bye love you guys so much thank you for watching